What drew you to doing this movie? Had you heard of Maude Lewis before this? I, I hadn't, no, shame to say. Um, but um, Ashen, well, I, I, I've known Ashen for a long time and worked with her a few years ago and always wanted to work with her. And she sent me a beautiful picture of, of Maud and um, some examples of her art. And I knew from that, that was just the first email and said that she'd been sent the script and, and then I read the script and thought, wow, what a beautiful story. And she, and it's a true life story. Um, and there's something about Ashling's being and personality when you meet her, this yeah. to our director, yeah. when you meet her in relationship to this story, yes. it feels like somehow I, I had, Part of the her. second I met her, I thought, oh, I'm doing this movie. Because <laughs> th there was th th something about her, you're like, oh, you, you should tell this story. Yeah, you, she has a strong handle mm -hmm. on it. And sometimes that happens. You meet a director and you can tell like, oh, Okay. You're you're where you're supposed to be, and the, yeah. and <laughs> yes, you'd completely. be a good leader. You know, she's completely. a really excellent leader. And, and she came from art. She went to art school, mm -hmm. and something she can relate to very strongly. And um, and uh, uh, yeah, I, I I don't know whether I would go to art school or drama school. So it's yeah. that for me as well. But um, yeah. yeah, she she is that. She is. So and she's a very um, <laughs> without trying at all. She's just a natural born feminist, and mm -hmm. and in that. She love you feel her wanting to tell stories in, in that way. I felt equal, Everett was equally respected because she's a humanist, mm. and that's really what yeah. a person yeah. is when you yeah. know about the equality of all of us. Mm. And she has that very strong, and you, you feel that from her. Mm. And you and, have to be that, I think, in this industry. Yeah, I mean, a, with a woman, you know, female director, it's it's um, you need more of them, <laughs> yeah, of yeah. course. Um, so did she send you the script first, or did you meet her and then? S Sally first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. They so had worked together before. Yeah. And then you guys, I met you both in London. Yeah. And that was um, so nice. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I, I just uh, the story is so simple and so clear and so and the kind of movie that I feel like got made when I was a kid and mm -hmm. I see less and less of around. Mm -hmm. Like complicated emotional uh, adult movies. And it takes its time, you know, yeah. not action based. Yeah. <laughs> a little it's bit. A, it's a yeah. little bit, you know. I don't know. If that's action, then, what, then what's, you it's know, about as action Inferno. as I get. Yeah. Like yeah. walking. Yeah. 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 We walk a dog. That's yeah. pretty exciting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but what's about, is interesting about is how hearts change over a period of time mm. and how people can change and how art can change people and how people change each other. And that was all really interesting to me. Yeah. yeah the world is very, it's, Nova Scotia is a world that, it's a unique, you know, th there's pockets of the universe that have their own identity. You know, Ireland has its mm. own, there's little, New Mexico has its, there's, all over the world there's unique places. And Nova Scotia has <laughs> not really been mined in movies yeah, as much as so it should. so beautiful. So beautiful. The landscape there. Yeah. yeah. And, and Ashen's Irish and you have that connection there is a connection, is a somehow really some spiritual strong. connection. There yeah. really is. It's like the land broke apart. And then yeah. What did you guys like about working with each other? We didn't. Yeah. We didn't. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was really uncomfortable. Yeah. This is Sally's not dedicated <laughs> to her work. She, her commitment is straight, fragile at straight, best. Straight back out. Yeah. yeah <laughs> no <it was> imagination. <laughs> She has a lot of difficulty learning lines. Mm, it's uh, a problem. She's Thank really into dresses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All she wants to do is go to premieres. Yeah, it's I love exhausting that. to be around. She can't <laughs> can't get her out of doing photo shoots and like yeah, she yeah. wants to talk about it. So yeah, makeup. I've got to go it's in exhausting a to me. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go shopping. So yeah, that is that is me. So yeah. we had a terrible time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But thanks it was for difficult. asking. Yeah. <laughs> it's good well, to see you. <laughs> can you tell me a little bit about your research and prep behind both of your parts, because it seems so, like with the physicality mm. and yeah. the limp and the yeah. dialect and everything. Mm. Um, well, I, I uh, wanted to uh, you know, represent uh, uh, arthritis as best I can, you know, and juvenile arthritis quite particular, and, um, and got to um, Toronto quite early on before we then to do um, for research and, and make sure that it was all bedded in and not thinking about it. And mm -hmm. I didn't want it to be, you know, it didn't stop her and I didn't want it to 
be a uh, that's the predominant thing it's just so much more it's just part of her and um, so you, you just want it to be natural and um, uh, and not take away from who she was as a human a spirit really it was a responsibility that Sally took incredibly seriously <laughs> of uh, telling this woman's story and representing it authentically and truthfully and it was contagious for everybody oh, on board thanks. Um, it was a really, she, her commitment was 100%, and it was exciting to be near. I think for the art design people of the movie and the director and myself, and it's uh, when somebody is dedicated to a level of excellence Aww. that at a very high level, <laughs> it, it, it asks the same of everybody else. It's really exciting to be around. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and for me, I've had about 15 or so years ago, I... Uh, escaped to Nova Scotia. It was a place I'd met through friends and I uh, was having a difficult time in my life and ended up buying a cabin there and disappearing there. Oh, wow. And I grew to love it there and I met people and so I was a fan of Sally's acting and so when the script came she was already attached so I was really interested to read it and then it opens and it says Nova Scotia and for me I'm like uh, I know that place and so I was reading about this man and I know him for better or for worse, I felt like, and you know, there's sometimes you read mm. things and you're like, I can't play that person. Mm. And you, I'm not the right person for that part. I, mm. I, my imagination can't go there. Or, But because I had spent a decade around some of these fishermen, and and I also, there's that type of man is in Texas too, and where I am from, it, but the accent I was deeply familiar with in mm. the world, I could mm. picture his life because I've spent a lot of time there. And that was very helpful for me to believe myself in this you know and that's the fun that's the when you ask about research and stuff all, all the exercises that you hear about actors are just they're all exercises to believe yourself mm -hmm. so that you can tell the truth yeah. you know it's like little something to hold on to mm -hmm. like a foundation and then you just forget it and, and hopefully it'll be okay yeah and, and for me ethan was there was no one else 